Here we're asked to solve a trigonometric equation. This one happens to be quadratic. Now we can, we can use the quadratic formula on this, but I think this one, well, it factors. So let's go ahead and factor this. First term first, 2 cosine squared x. That factors as 2 cosine x times cosine x. 2 factors, 1 times 2. Now I need to get a 5, so I'm going to put the 2 over here and the 1 there. My outer product is 4x. My inner product is 1x. 4 and 1 adds up to negative 5 if they're both negative. And then a negative times a negative is positive. So this one did factor. Once you get it factored, you then set each factor equal to 0. So we have 2 cosine x minus 1 equals 0 or cosine x minus 2 equals 0. OK, this leaves us with two linear trigonometric equations. So we can solve each one of these. Let's isolate the cosine on both of them. And we'll have, on this one, we'll have 2 cosine x equals 1, cosine x equals 1 half. Now on this one, we'll have, adding the 2, we'll have cosine x equals 2. Now for this term, cosine x equals 2, we know cosine oscillates between negative 1 and 1, right? Cosine can't be 2. Also, if you use a calculator, you can look at cosine inverse of 2, see that you get an error. This has no solution. Now, looking at this, cosine x equals 1 half, that has infinitely many solutions. So we need to think about where is cosine positive. OK, so let's look at the unit circle. On the unit circle, cosine is positive in q1 and q4. Now in Q1, the angle that we're looking for here is the actual reference angle. OK, so to get the reference angle, we'll look at cosine of x hat equals 1 half, or x hat equals cosine inverse of 1 half. Now we know that's 60 degrees, cosine inverse of 1 half 60 degrees. So that's our reference angle. And in Q1, well, we're going to have Q1 solutions and we're going to have q4 solution. So in q1, always x equals the reference angle. So in this particular case, x equals 60 degrees. In q4, we have to look at this angle here is x. The reference angle that they gave us is right here. So we're going to take 360 degrees and subtract out the reference. So x equals 360 degrees minus the reference angle. 360 degrees minus 60 degrees in this case is 300 degrees. So you think you're done there, but actually it wanted all the solutions. In fact, if I take 60 degrees and add 360 degrees to that, I'll get a coterminal angle, and that'll also solve the equation. So what we're going to do is add 360n to that, where n is an integer. So there's infinitely many solutions, coterminal and quadrant 1. And we'll do the same thing here, 360 degrees n, coterminal and quadrant 4. So infinitely many solutions to this trigonometric equation that happens to be quadratic.